Which one do I look at first? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna look at the big one. You're good. Look at the camera. Or whoever. You don't wanna look at us. <laughs> well, Cody, first practice, first official practice, long time coming out. for you. Not watch out. Uh, yeah, how did it feel to finally kind of get out there and get up and down the floor a little bit? Uh, I mean, it's exciting. Obviously, first day of practice. You know, we've been working hard all summer, so now it's just you know time to get ready for game time. Uh, just putting new stuff in. It felt good to be great on the court. Uh, you know, I had COVID all last week, so I was out last week, and then this is like my first workout. So getting back out on the court, you know, playing basketball, it's a great feeling. Do you have maybe a, a to-do list or you know things you want to get done in these 30 practices leading into the first game? Uh, nothing specifically. Obviously, I just got to work on the details and be an all-around better player. But like right now, it's just you know learning the offense, learning the defensive concepts, just being aggressive on offense and defense. That's kind of been my mentality. So. Right now, especially first day of practice, I'm really just taking in everything the coaches are saying, really paying attention just so I get a feel for the offense and how we play. Are there any specific assignments that Tad Boyle, Coach Boyle, is giving you? Uh, the one he's given me so far is just rebound, especially with my length and size, especially being on the perimeter. You know, just weak side boards is something that I could really be good at. So he's emphasized that. And he just knows my capabilities on defense. So just being a dog on defense, those have really been his emphasis. But has anything surprised you in your first months as a college student? as compared to what you expected from that? As a college student? Yeah. Uh, I'd say my high school teachers definitely made it sound like college was like hell. Like, oh, you know, <laughs> you have to pay attention to class, you miss classes, raps, it's like, you know, if you're to miss class, the teachers have all this stuff posted. Uh, they're really understanding about basketball, uh, especially if I was like sick, like when I had COVID, they were telling me all the stuff, all everything I need to do. Uh, I gave them my travel letters for the day I'm gonna miss. Uh, for basketball, they're super cool with it. So I think like the teachers are really just understanding, and if you're really putting in the work in the classroom, like they're really willing to help you out. So I think that's kind of like been the biggest shocker. I thought it was just like you do everything on your own. You know, if you miss out on something, you fail. Like it's the end of the world. But they're really understanding, so I like that. Cody, in a similar vein, obviously only one day, but any early impressions on the difference on the jump from high school to college basketball? Uh, I'd say the biggest one is just the physicality and speed. And you know, obviously, I'm playing with men at this point. You know, I was playing with you know teenagers high school so just here playing with better competition bigger faster stronger uh, it's been a good adjustment it's been exciting to play against them i just feel like i'm gonna get better playing against them brother giving you any tips uh, just be a dog really just be aggressive it's like you know you're here for a reason that you got to this point for a reason so really like don't shy away don't be shy or timid don't be afraid to make mistakes just you know go out be aggressive and obviously putting the work in outside of practice you know whenever when everyone else isn't working out, that's your time to work out and get better. So those are kind of like the key things he gave me. A lot of the reason you chose to play here is because of Tad. Could you see the love that he has for the game and the reason why you wanted to play for him? Could you just kind of see that and feel that during practice? Today? Oh, yeah. He has an extreme passion for the game, and that's just something I love. Uh, he's not going to let you get away with any mistakes, any silly things. You know, a lot of stuff I was able to get away in high school, you know. I was standing straight up right here on the weak side in high school. I get away with that. If I'm standing up or not in the stance, they pull up the film, send it to me, and they're like, what you're doing this play, you're being lazy. So just that level of commitment they have for us to get better and for us to be a good team, it just really shows like how much he wants to win and how much he wants us to get better on the court. Along those lines, what did playing for him this summer in the U19 tournament, I talked to you a little bit while the camp was going on down there in Colorado Springs, but then you know getting to go overseas and compete and have Tad as your coach throughout that time, you know, what? Did, how did that help you maybe kind of coming into this preseason? Uh, I'd say obviously just spending time getting closer with him, uh, you know, being out there in a different country for a few weeks with my head coach, I was really able to connect more. And then I'd say honestly just like the terminology, defense, like he put in a lot of stuff that we used uh, at USA that we use here. So, you know, the ball screen coverages, weak side, the offensive sets, I was kind of a little bit ahead on that. So I think that's just like a great advantage of playing with him over the summer is I kind of know his terminology and what he's looking for. How do you plan to handle kind of the talk of, oh, you know, is he just going to be here for a year, or, you know, walk one done type thing? How do you uh, plan to manage with, that? Take it with a grain of salt, really. I'm not focused on, you know, what people expect me to become or, you know, what they say I'm going to become. For me right now, it's just getting better every day in practice. And my one goal right now is just be the best player I can. And obviously, like, our goal is to win the Pac-12. So for me, I'm locked in on that. I don't care about the outside noise. I don't care. He's supposed to go here, go there, project this or whatever. I stay away from all that stuff, and I really just lock in on the court. Kind of a non-basketball question. Can you? Can the basketball team feel the Coach Brown effect? I've seen you at a couple football games. Can, oh, can you guys sure. feel that? Yeah. Oh, most definitely. It is. He's got definitely a lot more culture to the school and just – you can tell just by the atmosphere of walking around campus before game day, like, 
it's just insane. So he definitely, and it's gonna bring like, it brings a lot of popularity to other sports, like so our soccer team, their games are always packed. And it's just, you know, he just brought a lot of like, I guess headlights to the school. So that's just a big thing, always welcome. And does that make you guys want to be even better than maybe if he wasn't here? Oh, just, for sure. Yeah. Even if he wasn't here, like we'd still, obviously our goal would still be winning Pac-12, but you know, just having that extra buzz, extra excitement for basketball season, all those you know, extra lights on us, it really just motivates us and pushes us to be better. You said you blocked off the north, but obviously you had high expectations on you from the outside for a long time. How have you been able to handle that throughout the years? Uh, it's really simple. I have a brother that kicks my butt every time I work out, so it humbles me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'd say really just him. He's really taught me like kind of just don't worry about what other people think. Just kind of focus on yourself, not what other people expect you to be. And for, for him, he's always just like, you got to focus on the day, next day. Hey, hey, I got, you know, I worked on today for this practice. I wasn't thinking about what's going to happen in a few years. What, uh, and then tomorrow, I'm going to focus on tomorrow's practice and get better. So he's always just saying, you know, take it one day at a time. Don't get caught up on social media and all this other stuff. You see, you know, someone's doing this or that. They're projecting that. He's like, just stay away from all this stuff. Just really lock into basketball and just work on getting better. There's some veterans on the team. There's some new faces as well. I know it's really early, but how do you feel like the team chemistry is coming along? Uh, it's really, I mean, one of the biggest reasons why I came here is just like, when I came on my visit, like, everyone was close. Like you didn't have like, these two groups are here that always hang out, or these two guys that hang out, these three guys are always by themselves. Like everyone was really like a big family. And for me, that's a big thing, especially when you're gonna play a long season with them, you're gonna see them every day. So like everyone's super close and like, for me, it wasn't like a getting adjusted to them or kind of, you know, meshing with them. It felt like as soon as I got here, I was already meshed with them. Mm -hmm. So that was like a big thing for me. I just love the guys. Are there any games this season that you're specifically really looking forward to? I'm looking at every game, to be honest with you. I'm trying to kill everybody. You know? <laughs> I, our team say the same thing. We were really go out there and try to embarrass teams. So for us, just having that mentality of we're really going to go out and kill every team we play. So for us, we just take it one game at a time. Uh, What's our first game, November 9th, 6th or something six. like that? Six. So for us, like, obviously that's down the road, but we know, like, we got to get better each and every day. So then our focus comes on November 6th, getting ready for that game. And then after that, next game after that, just take it one day at a time. But, you know, for right now, we're just working on practice, getting better one day at a time. Okay. All right, thank you.